Hey everyone, it's Benny and Sal for Absolutely Marvel in DC. So Sal, I was gonna do a quick little like three, four minute video for my theory, but I wanted okay. to shoot it by you instead because honestly, it's gonna be rough to turn this into a three to four minute video. I thought it'd be more fun this way. Sure. My theory is in the title, so everyone in the video now knows what it is. Black Widow isn't actually dead. Right. Okay, that's that's my theory. Now, okay. Now, let, let me give you the grounds for it. As far as we know right now in Endgame, she was killed by the Soul Stone, which makes her one of the ones that cannot be revived. Yes. So, like, it was her, Vision, and Tony that could not be revived. They were gone. That was the end of that. Yeah. What if that wasn't Black Widow? That's my theory. Oh, the one who died? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in Secret Empire, Black Widow does die. And yes. a clone comes back with all of her memories because <laughs> why would Marvel kill anyone? <laughs> so, so why would they do a Black Widow movie in the middle of everything? Remember, apparently this doesn't, this isn't a true prequel. This is like what she was doing between two movies. Yes. This is between, I think, Civil War and uh, the next one. I think so. I um, so using plot points that have already been set up in the MCU, Black Widow uh, can't have a kid wants to have yep. a regular life, is stuck in this life, stuck with the Avengers. Yes. What if in this movie she discovers a Red Room cloning facility, Yelena Bolov, whatever, is like evil Black Widow, mm -hmm. but there's an option to clone and put all of her memories into a clone, <clears throat> and she separates her desire, like she can, the desire to be a hero and on the Avengers is in the clone. Oh. So our Black Widow stepped away at that point. Okay, okay. Huh. I, I guess I could take that. I mean, I feel like this... I, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> it, it does seem kind of weird that they're making a Black Widow movie that's like a prequel from 10 years ago. Yeah. For now, for no reason. It's, it seems weird. It seems like an but, opportunity, right? Yeah, it seems like an opportunity like, to bring her back. And that's what I'm saying. What if this? That what if that's the whole point? But what if Marvel and Feige, now that they're in full control, they're like, you know, we really wanted to do Black Widow a while ago. It couldn't work out, but we killed her. So crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, but how do we get a three bl movie Black Widow trilogy <laughs> now that she's dead? Yeah. What if the first movie sets up the clone Scarlett Johansson and she's got a trilogy coming? Hmm. I guess that could work. You could do the clone. I mean, they didn't introduce L LMDs outside of a joke or shield, which they're not going to reference. Uh, so, you know, a clone could... Clones are dicey, man, because, like, you border on that like on that line between a fun sci-fi movie starring Scarlett Johansson and a science fiction movie about clones and stuff. You've also opened which... up a can of worms in the MCU if we do yes. clones. <laughs> yeah. See, may, may I... May I posit an alternate theory about okay. what they might do with All this right. movie. I think they're going to make you think, or they will overtly pass the torch of Black Widow, the title, to Yelena Belova, the blonde Black Widow, because there yeah. are two Black Widows, and she is introduced in this I movie. have her character in Strike Force, the Marvel app ah, game. <laughs> good. And she's only there because there's a movie with her in it. Because she doesn't uh, exist out anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, she does, she's in the comics, but like no one... She, the last time I saw her was in New Avengers. Yeah, that's which gonna be a long time ago. She doesn't exist. So, <laughs> right, she, she might as well. But uh, I think that if you wanted to, you could... Make it look like, oh, we're gonna trans, we're you know, we're gonna we're gonna pass a torch, blah blah blah. Yelena's like, mm, well, you know, if you ever die, which you never will, I'll take up the mantle, or I'll 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 come calling, and you know, we all know what's gonna happen because we've seen Endgame, uh, and then as a post credit scene, we go back to Vormir, and she's there. Okay. Like, either she's the new Red Skull guardian of the Soul Stone, or because Cap put the stone back, I guess we get the life back that we took. Okay. Possibly. So, like, so my, she's just stuck there. She got no ship. You know, she's it, like... Because my, my idea is that something is going to happen here. Right. They haven't said any plans. They have said nothing about this movie. Right. And yeah. if, if they do a Black Widow movie with the intention of it's a one-off, that'll be the first right. time the MCU has done a one-off. Yes. What do they do if this movie breaks a billion dollars? What if they... <laughs> What if this is yeah. the next Cap uh, Wonder Woman? Yeah. Yeah. 
What what if they're like, oh, Captain Marvel didn't do as hot as we wanted. Black Widow? Why are we making sequels? We're in a comic book universe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And and they could they could just say like, oh no, Black Widow two is going to be about the blonde Black Widow. Right. And it's her adventure. And it's one hundred percent possible. But my theory is that the clone was made with all the memories. That's part of the reason why Black Widow was cool with killing herself because she wasn't even the real one. <laughs> and at the end of this, we'll see the post credit scene where the real Black Widow is like. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. and, and then Black Widow 2 is her like exploring coming back. Right. Yeah, she's new. You, yeah. you have to do it all over again. That might be a juicy role for uh, Scarlett Johansson to play with because, you know, it's like I get to play the new version of the same character. And yeah. And maybe, maybe I might not do the same things, you know? Maybe she'll pop up in the Hawkeye show. You know, there's, there's options but, there. But your idea isn't out of the question either. That the Infinity Stone kind of like retroactively changes some things or messes with something. I yeah, like, like both these No things. one puts it back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, can you picture it as Steve shows up and he's like, hey, yo, what up, Red Skull? Uh, here, here you go. Uh, let's... What's this, Why are you giving me the, the, the rock back? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to underneath it anymore. We were just borrowing it. <laughs> why, why, why? What happened here, by the way? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, it, we didn't have a funeral or anything. <laughs> so all right i just wanted to run that by you try this format yeah. for our theories instead of the other format see what people like more uh yeah. let me know what you guys think in the comments down below be spouting the theories to sal instead of making a theory video uh and then sal giving me his theory right <laughs> <laughs> sorry i i, no, I, no, I, no. I, I we can do theory. this all the time we can do this all day we can do this all day all right guys thank you so much and we'll see you next time right here at absolutely marvel and dc